I'm Sludge Render, and this is Slime and Punishment! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Silencing card, I must now call upon the first witness. <clears throat> The number you're calling has not been recognised. Oh, since then we are must pay my bills. Anyway, Tilly, you have been found guilty by the mashup jury of crimes punishable by the slam. What say you, Tilly? Uh, what? Objection overruled, <laughs> Tilly Marty. I know, oh dear, oh dear, I say. I must now introduce to you the case of the prosecution. I'm Hearts Court Attorney at Law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Tilly with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush this when they receive a bucket of slime right in their <laughs> face. So, Tilly, it's time to take to the stand. Oh. Your 90-second interrogation starts. Put that bucket down! No! <laughs> Olympian Adam Peaty was voted out of Strictly last week, but in which sport is he a world record holder? Tennis. Tennis. Swimming. Slimer! <laughs> received an MBE this week for his campaign work. <laughs> I don't know. Marcus Rashford, Slimer! <laughs> this year's Great British Bake Off competition is underway on Channel 4, but how many more episodes are left of the series? Give it a guess. A number. What? Two! Ooh. Slimer! <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's birthday was on Monday, but what's his star sign? Uh, uh... Oh, 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 it's actually Scorpio. <laughs> Slava! <laughs> it's been 20 years since the first Harry Potter film came out, but which actor played the title role? Uh, uh, Daniel! Summit! Yes. Daniel! Give me that then. Go on, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. Oh, which artist currently has three top ten tracks in the official singles UK chart? Oh, Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Sheeran! Slava! <laughs> One in the opening round of the Stockholm Open. Uh, uh, Serena Williams. I hope I can say it right. Victor Jurasovic. Slam her. <laughs> Top Gear returns tomorrow with Paddy McGuinness and Freddie Flintoff, but can you name the third host? Oh, no. Chris Harris, slam her! I'm not coming at you with a bucket of slime. Don't worry about your eyes, but feeling OK? Yeah, I'm feeling sludgy. You so feel sludgy with one sludgy point. Do you want to add more points? Uh, I'm feeling moist. Right, I'll take that as a yes. Well, you can, because I'm sentencing you to one further question. It's time for this. So, Tilly, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points! OK. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't <laughs> be legal. <laughs> Can I have some tension music, please? Tilly, are you ready? <laughs> I tell I'm a bee. OK. <laughs> Here is your ultimate question. The first NASA mission to send a woman to the moon surface has been pushed back to 2025. But how many days has it been since the first man landed on the moon? Easy. 365. Is that it? <gasps> that's that a year, that's a year! I meant 3,655 and nine. <laughs> that's still incorrect. Is the it? right answer is 19,109 days, which means it's time to super summer! <laughs> Full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now.